Hello guys, what is going on? Techroom K here. So for today's video we have yet another chair. This is a chair from Bull Eyes. This is the EP460 ergonomic office chair. Obviously you can use it for gaming. This chair is designed with comfort in mind so it will protect your back. Uh, it has uh, adjustable headrest, adjustable hand rests, everything you, you can think of. This chair has it. Uh, the color is black. We have some information right here on the box. So this is the model number, Bullis Ergonomic Office Chair. This is the SKU and the color is black. Obviously their branding right here. We have an, some additional information on the side right here. So as you can see, um, color is black, one piece. Net weight is 19 kilos. That's the weight of the chair without a box. And the gross weight with the box, it's 22 kilos. Uh, measurements. 67 by 40 by 65 this is the box measurements not the actual chair measurements so yeah as i told you this uh chair is designed for comfort and it looks really great i had a look on their website i'm going to go ahead right now and uh, take everything out of the box i'm going to show you guys what you get after that we are going to assemble it and uh, show you guys how the final product looks like and uh, all the features it has. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so after opening the box, this is pretty much what we get. I just wanted to show you guys how everything comes straight out of the box. Everything is packed nice with uh, bubble wrap and plastic wrap. Um, as you can see, all the important fine bits are packed with uh, bubble wrap. This is the star base of the chair where you're gonna put the wheels. So we have an instruction manual, how to set up the chair, how to assemble it. It's fairly easy, I done a few, so I don't even think I'll need it, but it's nice to give it a quick read just in case you need to know how to do it basically and uh, when you do that you have all the screws that you need you have them here uh, they also included an allen key which is nice all just have all you have to do is just take them out of here and uh, follow the instructions and uh, you should be good to go you don't need no other tools as you have this allen key included so uh, we have the headrest right here we have the base we have the back mount we have the backrest right there we have the arms, which are 3D adjustable. So you can adjust them up and down and uh, forward and backward, which is quite nice. Obviously the black color really suits the black color of the chair, so that's nice. We have the gas piston mount, which will mount under the chair. And uh, basically the gas piston should be in this box right here along with uh, the wheels that you're gonna have to pop on the star base of the chair so you can move it along. This chair comes with a uh, footrest which I'm gonna show you guys when everything is assembled. So yeah, pretty much that's it. That's all you get inside the box. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and assemble it and I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks like when it's all set up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so this is how the chair looks like when it's fully assembled. Uh, let's start with the bottom. Uh, the star base, it's made from solid metal, which is a really good thing. The wheels, same, they have only the plastic wheels on it, but the actual uh, part that's holding them, it's made out of metal, so that's really good. Under the chair, we have a footrest, which is uh, back and forth adjustable. So you can uh, rest your feet up when you get tired. The arms are uh, 3D adjustable, which means they go like this and they go up and down and they go also back and forth. So exactly like this, both of them do. Um, one thing about the armrest is that they are not 4D adjustable, so they don't go sideways. So me having uh, large arms, I kind of have to stay a bit tucked in. So that's a deal breaker for me, just the armrest. I think they could have just put a bit more work into the armrest and the chair would have been great. 
the lumbar support it's uh, adjustable as well so you can uh, you can lock it or you can have it uh, loose just like so so you can adjust it to your desired position and once it's to your desired position you can just lock it in like so the backrest has this spring system right here which I find to be a bit stiff like I'm 80 kilograms and uh, whenever whenever I lean on my back it just pushes me forward for some reason I think it's just a bit stiff but it might loosen up once you use it way more and the headrest uh, this is how it looks from the back the headrest is adjustable only up and down and it's also angle adjustable so that's that's a really good sign you can uh, you can adjust your uh, height basically if you're a tall guy tall woman you can adjust it to your desired height and uh, you'll have no problem with that I'll just keep it on the standard for now also besides the chair going up and down with the gas piston right here and you can lock it and unlock it to your desired position it would also go back and forth using this uh, lever like here you will go back and forth uh, and you can adjust it to of course your desired position if you are if you have long legs and whatnot and uh, yeah basically the only downside will be will be the armrest because they are not tall enough usually I like I don't know if you can see there's a bit of a gap and this is 80 centimeters my desk is height adjustable I can lower my desk but I find 80 centimeters to be like my desired position for a desk and this one doesn't go so my arms will be lower than the desk usually I have them flush so I have a better position while gaming and as you can see I have my mouse and my keyboard usually my mouse is here and my keyboard there and this will just not reach because the armrests are not 4D adjustable. The chair is great. The only downside for me personally are the armrests. Apart from that, the chair is uh, really good. Uh, I like the color. I like the look. It's comfortable. Uh, if you guys want to buy it, I will have a link in the video description down below. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.